I'm Brielle. It's Saturday. This is Lesby Swag. Insert cool intro here. I won't have one because I'm too lazy to make one, but like, let's pretend there were stars and like fireworks and a cool song behind it. And it said, Lesby Swag, with my name in lights. I really just like doing this. I actually recorded this video earlier, like this morning, and it's now 8.30 at night. And apparently I just talked for 12 minutes and my mic wasn't on. In that video, I compared distance to a 16-year-old straight slut. Because I said that distance sucked as much dick as this girl would. Do you see my, like, comparison here? Other than that, distance is tough. My advice is to try to find someone who is within a normal distance of you. But I know that's not always possible. So if you need to be in a relationship with someone that is not ideally within driving distance or anything like that and you want to be with them, you need to figure out ways to work the relationship. You can do common things like video chatting, phone calling, which are kind of like basic relationship things to do now. But it's different when you're in a long distance relationship. You need like physical, you need to feel physically with them. And in order to do that, I would, if I was in one, I would write letters, send them, because it's like handwritten and it's, I don't know, that's cute, right? Uh, I would kind of like send them little gifts, maybe give them like a t-shirt or a sweatshirt that I've worn, because that's something that people, couples would do if they were physically with each other. So, as for me... Like, if you cared and you wanted to know. Unless I was, like, in love with the person. I wouldn't. I wouldn't try to be in a long-distance relationship. I need hugs. And lots of hugs. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much why I won't be in a long-distance relationship. Because hugs are the shit. And I need hugs. And, and so I give hugs. And hugs are, like... Right now, all I have to hug is my dog. And most of the time, he runs away from me. I'm sorry about my voice. It sounds like I have a cold, but I really just have no, like, airway up here right now. And my lips are swollen. So I got, like, big lips. I don't really know what this is, but people with big lips do it. <gasps> Baby! This is what I sleep with. Back to the top. Distance. My advice is if you love the person, do it. Don't let distance get in between you. Because distance can kill a relationship or it can make one I'm really split I've never liked anyone that was like out of my state actually and I don't think I'll ever allow myself to like, so many people on Tumblr hit me up and they're really nice and we become friends but I can't make it any more than that because they live halfway around the world All right? we cannot make a relationship with someone halfway around the world I need to hug people right I need hugs and kisses I need love and affection you know what I mean you know why this video just gets so ghetto I don't <laughs> distance is hard but it could be so worth it it could be like magical I feel like I feel like talking to someone and getting to know someone just based on like, getting to know their thoughts and what they're thinking is so much more rewarding 
than getting to know their body. That sounds so wrong. But I'm really serious. Like, I feel like the physical attraction between two people in a, in a relationship where they actually know each other kind of gets in the way of other things. My dog, his face right now is, I'm just like, you don't even know me. All right, also, Nicole gave me a shout out, so I'm going to tease her. Hey, Nicole, look what I got. Jealous? I actually tried them. I'm not really a fan, I'm sorry. Like, ooh, ooh, shh. So it's pretty. Like, they taste like chalk at first, but then they taste good. So they lied. Uh, at first it says, first it's candy, then it's gum. First it's shit, then it's okay. All right, bye guys.